So should Concede. President Obama keep releasing Gitmo prisoners, keeping his promise, or is this dangerous? This is Ibrahim Arubayesh, senior advisor for al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, one of the most wanted terrorists in the world, and just one of the men released from Guantanamo Bay and now back in the fight for global jihad. Terrorists are being trained and sent back to commit acts of terror. Since 2009, the Obama administration has released 117 detainees from Guantanamo Bay. Gitmo has become a symbol around the world for an America that flouts the rule of law. They're not alone. The Bush administration released more than 500 detainees from Gitmo between 2002 and 2008, all of it part of a controversial policy in which detainees, even some who are considered high risk, are sent back home or to host countries and set free. And with a staggering 45% of the remaining detainees at Gitmo set to be transferred, not the word I would use, it's apparently the best President Obama can do to keep this promise he made in 2008. I have said repeatedly that I intend to close Guantanamo and I will follow through on that. But since the 2008 election, bipartisan opposition in Congress rejecting the president and refusing to fund the transfer of detainees to a United States prison. This prevents President Obama from shutting down the controversial prison, but that doesn't stop the president from releasing some get mode detainees. These individuals could be transferred to other countries without posing a significant threat to U.S. interests. But a September 2014 report issued by the Director of National Intelligence says otherwise showing that more than 17 percent of released detainees are confirmed to have returned to the fight and an additional 12 percent suspected of rejoining the fight. Former detainees like Abdul Rahim Muslim Dost, a supposedly low-risk detainee, is now actively recruiting for ISIS. A horrifying situation that has Senate Republicans introducing legislation blocking the release of medium and high-risk detainees from Getmo. Now is not the time to be emptying Guantanamo with no plan for how and where these individuals are going to go. And the move gaining momentum now that intelligence officials have linked the brutal attacks on Charlie Hebdo magazine in Paris to Al-Qaeda in Yemen. And Congressman Adam Kinzinger joins us. Good evening, sir. Hey, Greta. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. Are the Gitmo Review Task Force agreed to release these five five years ago, in January 2010. Now fast forward to now, and it's being done now. Um, of course, now in light of what happened last week, it's uh, certainly on everyone's radar screen. Why did they wait five years, and what do you think about this timing? I don't know about the wait. I can tell you the timing. I mean, regardless of whether the president thinks this is in America's national security interest in his own mind or not, I mean, the fact is, in the middle of, of this, I guess, awakening of jihadism, of Islamic jihadism, the message that's being sent, not just even the risk that these five men may pose, and it's really possible by, you know, by statistics that one of these men will go back to the battlefield or be a leader. And plus, keep in mind now, they're going back as a leader that has been in Gitmo. So they come out with, like, new stature and, and everything else. And so, you know, regardless of the actual risk they pose, the message that's being sent to the Middle East right now, to our allies and to our enemies in the Middle East, is that as Amer America is quickly retreating from this war of ideology in the Middle East. And that is very dangerous. I think that's led to the rise of extremism, the rise of ISIS. I think that's done more perception-wise to hurt our cause than anything. And so the message that's being sent is absolutely wrong. I would love to see President Obama come out and give a speech like, you know, what we've seen out of uh, the Prime Minister of uh, Australia or Canada or, or France even now and say that, you know, this is a real issue and it must be confronted head on. The opposite message yeah, is being I, sent. I just don't get this, though. For five years they've had the okay, and maybe they had to find a place to release them to, um, and, but five years ago they okayed it. And I just don't get why the president doesn't need, you know, at least wait another month or two when um, the Paris massacre is in our rearview mirror. I just can't get the sort of the wisdom of doing it now. I think it's like, to me, it's just so tone deaf. Well, it is tone deaf. It's the, same, it's the same reason no high level of the administration went to Paris. I mean, you know, should the president have gone or not? Well, I don't know, but somebody of much higher stature should have gone. The president does not think through 
uh, the actions, I think, to the extent of what impact it's really having. I mean, I, I don't think he thinks in terms of, you know, America is a fantastic country that is the last line of defense between this growing jihadist threat and everything else. I think there's really a belief, it's, it's a very left-wing belief, that we can, in essence, show ourselves to be good people, and that folks in the Middle East, no matter how extreme they are, will look at us and appreciate it. And maybe, in, in his mind, this is a sign of goodwill. Well, look, goodwill doesn't work. Uh, what works is strength and power. America's job in the world, frankly, is not to be loved, but it's to, you know, whether we like the burden or not, uh, we are a force for good. And if we don't do this, nobody's going to. And so the message is being sent is terrible. And, and, and as you said, I don't understand why. I don't understand why now, even if you're going to release him, which I don't think he should, wait a couple months. If, um, one, one quick question. Did you learn about the actual release after they were out of Gitmo, or did you get the heads up that this was going to happen in a day or two or a week or two? It's interesting. We get all this information on the news, on Fox News. And, you know, the Bergdahl swap, uh, I had no idea about that, despite having to notify Congress. None of us knew. We learn about this stuff on the news, and the president's made it clear that he doesn't consider Congress very important lately. Congressman, thank you. And uh, at least you're watching Fox Thanks, News. Greta. Thank you, sir.